Hey everybody, this is Stroke Eddie here with a video. Uh, this video is about an issue that I had in the past and it happened again. Um, but this time is not the same uh, sensor. So let me show you right here. It's the same exact issue except that it is a different sensor. So you're on your menu, you go to your settings right here, and then you click OK, and as you see, you can scroll up and down. So this is an ABS sensor issue. You click OK on there, it's gonna give you the fault. So the fault says 789.7, and then you click OK, and it will tell you ABS. Protective wheel speed sensor A, not responding or out of adjustment. Check wiring continuity and wheel speed sensor A for possible internal failure. Okay, so the, the way the sensors uh, are positioned is you start from the steer tire on the driver's side and then you go to the steer tire on the passenger side and then you go to the uh, middle axle drive tire on the driver's side and then you go across to the same axle on the passenger side that would go A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, so that's the way they are positioned. So in this case I have a speed sensor issue on the sensor A. So that will be on the steer tire on the driver's side. Last time I had this issue was on the on the steer tire of the passenger side. So we're gonna go check and I'm gonna show you what I did. Uh, it worked for a little bit until I had to take it into the dealer. So let's see if we can fix this temporarily and see what, the, what we're gonna do from there. Hey everybody so we got the hood open and as i said on the driver's side that's a passenger side it's b and then you will go on each tire so a b c d okay so all right so i'm on the passenger side right now because this is a speed sensor a and I'm gonna show you where the spin sensor is. So this is your airline for the brakes. And right here, this is the speed sensor line going down right here to the axle. So you, you follow this line right here, follow that line, and that's taking you straight where the sensor is. So right here, that's the speed sensor. Okay. So normally what happens is, what was happening with the other side is that there was some issue inside there and that was making that sensor uh, come out. So the sensor will pop out a little bit and then it would not make it contact with the wheel anymore so I got my screwdriver I'm just gonna grab the sensor uh, tap the sensor a little bit and push it in just enough till I hear a click okay so that did it um, I'm gonna go and start the truck and start rolling and we'll see if that worked okay so <clears throat> we already closed the hood and we're about to start the truck and we'll see what it does okay as you can see all the lights 
all the all the warning lights are gone. Okay. So we're gonna start moving. Put my seat below real quick because I'm just gonna move right here. I'm in a rest area. I'm just gonna move real quick. That way I can test the sensor. See, that is one of the issues that, that I have. Uh, I get a traction control issue. So that means that this time it didn't work. So here I am, uh, once again, this is the shop where I had to come and uh, bring my truck. Uh, due to the ABS issues that I'm having so when I pulled this one I noticed that I noticed that it is a little bit damaged they're not supposed to look like that like right here it's not it's it's, it's like it's been rubbing against the wheel which it should be really close but it should not have this much wear on it so I don't know if you can tell okay so anyways so I have brought it into the shop they they got me in really quick and they checked the truck and they they gave me the diagnose apparently there's a crack on the seal the hub seal uh, I don't see any I don't see any oil coming out uh, neither here or the, or the inside apparently there's a crack on the seal there was some water mixed with the oil uh, there was a gooey a mixture in there and now uh, they're gonna have to replace that and also apparently the wheel bearings were loose which probably caused the tire to wiggle and damage the sensor that's what they said because the the, the, the wheel bearing the wheel bearings were loose so that's where we're standing right now we're in front of the shop these guys are really good people. Uh, the name of the shop, it's called Tag. They're in Springfield, Missouri, right on I-44. These guys were able to get me in like soon as I got here. I can't see their name from far away. But that's what it's called, T-A-G. So, they got me in, and they checked my truck, but unfortunately, they can't get the parts here today. So, they'll get them, they'll get them here tomorrow in the morning. Uh, they were, they, they put everything together, like they had to take stuff out, but they put it together. So I could roll it out here and just spend the night. They got a they got a nice trailer park in front of their shop. That's the entrance right there. So here's where I'm where I'm uh, just sitting for the night. And in the morning, yeah, they're gonna get me in. So yeah, this these people were really 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 good people. Um, I really recommend them. Um, like I said, I, I called them. They're like, if you get here now, we can get you in. I came here, they got me in like, like right away. They, they uh, did it, whatever they had to do. And 
So now here I am, just just waiting for 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 tomorrow. I'll give you an update and see how everything goes from from here. Take care.